Hi, Doug Masnighetti here with uh, another guitar lesson. Um, this one's on Eric Clapton's Lonely Stranger. Uh, this is uh, this lesson is organized the way all my others are, so I'll just do a quick intro here, then I do a cover, and uh, then I do the lesson. So you can skip right ahead to the lesson if you want to uh, blow through all of the rest of it. So, um, uh, Eric Clapton wrote this song in 1991. I guess he was in Hollywood doing... Uh, uh, contributing in some way, shape, or form to the uh, sc uh, screen music of a movie called Rush, which I'm not familiar with. And uh, I guess he felt out of place there, so he wrote this song. And then he, uh, he uh, released it on his 1992 uh, Unplugged album. So uh, that's about all the trivia I have on the song. The song is played in standard tuning. Uh, it's a finger-picking song, so you might be using a pick. That's about it. Onward to the cover. I must be invisible. No one knows me. I have crawled in dead end streets on my hands and knees. Okay, so you either uh, just got done listening to or skipped over uh, the cover of Lonely Stranger by Eric Clapton. It's uh, played in standard tuning and um, it's, it's played full hand, um, at least the, uh, the version on Unplugged is. Um, so, uh, and this isn't exactly the way he plays at all, uh, but uh, it's, the way, it's the way I play it anyway. Um, so, uh, he starts out with the E7 configuration here, I guess, where your uh, middle finger is on covering this second fret of the fifth string, and your index finger is covering the first fret on the third string. And um, you don't really f form the full chord. When you first start off, keep your index finger off and hit an open third in, a, in the fifth string. Pluck those two together there with your thumb. Now, actually, let me just stop here for a second. For reference, moving forward, I assign my index finger to uh, uh, string number three, my middle finger to string number two, and my ring finger to uh, string number one, and my thumb plays all the other lower strings, unless I indicate otherwise, those are the fingers I'm using. So, um, back to the song. You, uh, you, you, you pluck the two of them, the third and the fifth, 
And you hammer on your index finger. Whoops, sorry about that. Like that. And then you uh, hit the uh, second string, and then the uh, third string. And slide up, cover the fourth fret on the fifth string and the second fret on the third string, and hit, hit them together. And then hit the sixth string, hit the guitar and then hit it hit the sixth string twice so it sounds and <laughs> let me make sure I got that right um, it sounds like this I think um, yeah so um, that's that's the beginning of the of this little riff that rolls through the song you know between the verses and then twice and then um, take your uh, uh, your ring finger off and use your middle finger to cover the third fret on the fifth string, and pull off your index finger and pluck the the third and the fifth at the same time, and then hammer on your index finger so uh, onto the second fret of uh, the the third string. So what we have so far is. So it's the second string. So after you, after you've done that little hammer on in this configuration, where you're covering the second fret of uh, the third string and the third fret of the fifth string, hit, then hit the second string and the third string. Slide down and do it again. Keep the index finger off. So now I'm only got my my. I'm only covering the second fret of the, the, the fifth string, and then I hammer on. I pluck the third, the third and the fifth, and I hammer on. So what we've got so far is and then so after you where I just left off, you will then hit the um, sixth string and you want to grab hold of the second and the, the third string and, and pluck them together. Um, it's okay if sometimes you just get one or the other, um, but in general you want to try, to try to get them both. So we've got... Right, so after you pluck those both, you want to you, you want to slap and then do the double stroke on the on the sixth string so Okay, so that's that's the little riff that rolls between the verses, and then when you start it on a verse, you, you just open with the beginning part of that riff, where you uh, start in this uh, this E7 configuration, index finger off, just what I've just showed you. Whoops. So the very beginning part of that riff that I just showed you, but then you uh, go up to a, uh, a bar chord up here on the fourth fret where you're covering uh, all the strings with your index finger and um, you're covering the sixth fret of the fourth string and you're covering the um, fifth fret of the second string with your uh, ring and middle fingers. So, uh, so and, uh, and you hit the sixth string and then the fifth string with your your uh, thumb grab hold of uh, the three upper strings then and 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 you can try to try to hit hit as many of the bottom strings as you can with the fourth they usually just you know mainly hit the the the, 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 the sixth and the and the fifth 
so like that. Bring it down to uh, the second fret and slide both these fingers over from covering the uh, the, the uh, second and fourth strings. Slide them over to cover the the third and the fifth string. Fifth string, second fret. Third string, uh, so, sorry, fifth string um, is on the fourth fret and third string is on the third. Yeah, so I just showed you. Bring it back up, just slide that chord up, slide it up to the fourth fret, and then hit the uh, sixth and then the fifth, and then, and then pluck them again. Um, so let me make sure I've got that right. Yes. Okay, so you bring it back down to the second fret, that same chord configuration, and then go to um, <coughs> bar the the um, first five strings with your index finger on the second fret, and uh, bar the 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 fourth and the third and the second with your ring finger. This guy will tend to be dead, so you don't want to play it. That's just an A. That's just a barred A chord, right? First string is dead, but I'm not playing it. So, what I just did there was I'm plucking the, the second and the fifth string. So I start second and fifth string, third string, fourth string. And then the second string again and then I slide down to an A. And then back to... So, real slow. <clears throat> I'll just do the verse. Whoops. Actually, on the A, you may want to forgo that last that last hit on the second string. I'm not sure that I actually play that when I'm normally playing the song. I, pl I played it. I showed you to play it, and then I just played it there, and it didn't feel quite right. So I don't think I probably play that. Anyway, you can figure that out. <laughs> oh, let me play through it fast, and I'll tell you. See, I don't, I don't play this that that that, sec, that uh, second string as a last note on 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 the A chord. Okay, so stop short of that. So then he goes back into the riff again, ending on the sixth string. There goes up to uh, this chord again, where you're barring on the fourth and you're covering the second string on the fifth fret and you're covering the. Um, fourth string on this on this on the sixth fret and and again the sixth and then the fifth string and then and then come back down and you shift them both over again down to the chord I just showed you where you're covering the uh, the, the third string on the third fret and the fifth string on the on the fourth fret and just pluck do the pluck thing again where you're grabbing all all three upper strings if you can and get some of the lower ones with your thumb and then he rolls into a bar the the first bottom uh, the the uh, sorry the top five strings with your index finger on the second fret and uh, put your your middle finger on the on the third fret of the second string and you do this this 
Same, same little uh, progression with the with the right hand that I just showed you on the last last time through when we were when we were doing that. Now it's and then back to an A. Okay, so. Then, then you roll into the riff because you just finished the verse and you play the riff all the way through. You can I play it once through between the verses. You can play it twice through if you want. Um, uh, so that's uh, that's the verse and uh, and, and uh, uh, the little riff in between the verses. So now um, you're ready to hop into the chorus after you play through the verse a couple of times, and uh, it starts out with a uh, with an E chord, <clears throat> and I uh, I have a a finger picking uh, pattern that I use. So here's your E. You're covering the uh, second frets of the fifth and the fourth, and you're covering the uh, uh, fourth strings and the first fret of the third string, right? Standard E major. Um, so uh, the finger pattern then is uh, I, I, I grab uh, I'm going throughout the song uh, during the chorus I'm changing to a bunch of different chords and I'm either grabbing the sixth string and 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 this and the second or the the fifth string and the second now the, when I'm on the E when I'm playing the more bassy chords I'll I, I'll grab the second rather than the fifth and so I grab them both. I hit the third string, then I hit the fourth, and then I hit the second. And then, uh, so that you so that you do that with the E. Then you come up to a uh, the second fret bar it and uh, cover the this the third string uh, on the third fret and the fifth string on the uh, fourth fret and, and again grab the sixth and the and the and the and the and this and the second and go through the progression again. It's a little bit harder with the bar chord, but you are singing, and so some, you know, a few damp strings as you move along really will tend to be ignored by the listener. Um, you just don't want too many of them. Um, but this is, a, this is, you know, so it's like that. So. And then go to a B. And now I'm going to grab the fifth and the second when I start, rather than the sixth. Same little pattern. So. Yeah, so just slide that B up. To the fourth fret, and then uh, and break up your little bar into um, covering the second string on the fifth fret and the the, the um, fourth string on the on the uh, sixth fret. So. Come down to an A. I bar it. Um, so just covering the, the fourth, the third, second on the third fret. And grab the, the fifth with that second string to start. So, <laughs> I gotta run through it to remember. Oh yeah, then you go to, no wait. Up to here, so from the A up to uh, the fourth fret, bar it, and you're going to cover the fifth string on the s uh, sixth fret, and you're going to cover the 
third string on the on the fifth fret. So you're barring the four, and you've got uh, the fifth fret on on the third string, and then and this and the sixth fret on the fifth. So from the A to and grab the sixth this time, the sixth string with number two string. And then it's the same pattern, right? Back to this chord again. I just move my two fingers over a string. So I'm covering the second string now on the fifth fret and the fourth string now on the sixth. And then drop down to a, it's like an E7, I guess, right? Where uh, it's a familiar E chord, but I'm adding my pinky. It's the same E chord that you open this progression with, and I'm, but I'm adding my pinky uh, to the third fret of the second string. And, and this time, rather than grabbing the the sixth string like we did when we started the progression with the E major chord, um, grab the fifth fifth string like that. So this is what we have so far. Go to an A <laughs> from that E7. Go to an A and uh, grab the fifth and the second on when you open it. Same progression. And then go to uh, this funny chord, which uh, I'm covering the fifth string on the first fret, the fourth string on the second, and the second string on the second. And I'm plucking the fifth and the, the second. Then to an E. And I, I hit the fifth, I think. Sometimes I may hit the, the sixth. It doesn't matter. Either one will do, but I think I tend to hit, hit the fifth and the second when I open on this. And then back up to this chord on uh, where you're on the barring the fourth fret. And you're covering the second sh uh, string, fifth fret, and you're covering the, the fourth string, sixth fret. Back down to this chord that I think you've played before. So I'm just move both my fingers over one string and slide the bar down to the second fret. So I'm covering the the uh, third string on the third fret and the fifth string on the fourth fourth fret. And I and I cut the sixth with this guy. And I tend to that note tends to be dead for me. Um, hopefully you're a little better at barring than I am. <laughs> and um, uh, so let, let me see, let me just run through it. Yeah, so then so after after that chord that we just that I just ended up on a minute ago, and you're 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 grabbing the, the one that I damp that string out all the time on, and and uh, you're grabbing the sixth string with the second there. After you do that one, then you drop down to this funny uh, it's a B seven or something. Um, so this is I'm covering the fifth string second fret, the fourth string first fret, third string second fret. Uh, the second string is open, and the first string is being covered on the second fret. So, and and and, and uh, I grab the second and fifth. But rather than hitting the the second as my very last note of that little progression, like we've been doing, I grab the the first. So fifth and second. And then drop back into the riff. Okay, so let me just, uh, I, I've showed you the, the course and the verse, so let me just play through them both here as slow as I can. the 
opening. I do it twice through. And then into the verse. the riff and then back into the next verse. So uh, now on the chorus you can rather than doing the, the picking you know, rather than finger picking it you can just what the, the very end of it was um, so uh, all I'm doing there is just grabbing hold of uh, uh, you know this pretty, pretty the, the same sets of strings that we were we were yanking on during the verse right during the so you're just and slap down I would, and then hit that, that high E there uh, separately to give a little accentuation before you, before you bat, launch back into the riff. So, uh, that's Lonely Stranger. Um, hope it helped. <laughs>